Okay, are we good? Hi, I'm Grace, and I'm gonna try to learn how to acrylic paint. Now, I've had some previous art experience. But a lot of that has also just been watercolor or gouache or just like normal pencil sketching. When you think about the quintessential artists, they're like sitting at the easel, paint palette in hand. That is just something that I can't do yet, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to work on it. I'm already expecting that it is going to be a journey. Future Grace, just a spoiler alert, you're in for a little bit of pain and suffering, so get ready for that. But, you know, I am looking forward to being able to become a Pablo, even if it's just for a little bit. So I decided to paint an eye as a warm-up because I usually use a pretty diverse color palette. This time I was thinking of even using more conventional skin tones to really gauge my development in color mixing. I've definitely noticed that there is a duality in the artistic process between frustration and catharsis in terms of personal development, and it's up to you to find the balance of um, contentment in your work between the two. And here I was just, you know, struggling with that. I wasn't happy with the shadows, so I went back and added in some more tones to the eye. Next up is just some portrait studies, but I've noticed getting back into art, it definitely serves as both an outlet of connection and isolation because you have your own little pocket and whether it be through mediums or fan art, you're still able to connect and collaborate with so many other people and I just think that's so cool. That leads into like a little cycle of inspiration where through your own expression, you are taking inspiration from other people and yet the stuff you make also sends its own little ripples to other people. I think these project-based skills can definitely be applied to other aspects of life. Hi, so I just wanted to give a quick status update. Um, this is what I have so far. I mean, I'm pretty happy with these two, but let's just say there is a reason why a sticky note is there. But yeah, for this third painting, when my motivation started waning, I was just again reminded of the importance of work-life balance and finding your own creative outlet to just live a holistically healthy lifestyle. I've noticed that art on social media can become pretty comparative and it was just another reminder to improve for yourself. My color mixing didn't look like a parody of clown makeup, so I was actually pretty happy that I improved. So just a little wrap up. I call this one, um, I do not know how to acrylic paint yet. So it was just a little warm up, but yeah. It is what it is. I forgot to mention that these two are also from a fictional universe, from a book series that I love. And what better way to ruin your favorite book series than to draw characters that do not meet your unrealistic expectations. Like they have actual names, like canonically he's Cassian and he's Azrael, but I just go by Simp 1 and Simp 2. So you know, they didn't turn out orange, that's about as much as I care about. And thirdly, we just have random wing lady. You know, same thing, I'm just glad she didn't turn out orange and we added like some wings and stuff. At the end of the day, there is a grander theme of perseverance and patience. I just enjoyed like the cathartic experience of being able to practice painting on my own time for a little bit. Whether that brings up the importance of a balanced lifestyle or the challenge and growth that comes along with any new skill, it was quite enjoyable even if it did cause a little bit of pain and suffering. But yeah, um, this is a fun time. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see ya.